guys. I thought it would be fun to play with a little food right now because I was feeling hungry. So I went ahead and got out some pretzels and marshmallows and I thought it would be really fun if we worked on showing two digit numbers with place value. So if you look at what Mrs. Lloyd did, I didn't have our secret code cards, so I took index cards and I folded them in half and I wrote all of our decade numbers, 10, 20, 30, 40, and I did that all the way to 100. And when I did it, I just made sure that I wrote how many tens on one side of the fold on the left side and how many ones on the right side of the fold. That way, my next step, was I took index cards and cut them in half and I wrote the numbers one through nine so that I could make my own little secret code cards. So here is the number 30, but if I take my one for my ones and cover up the zero, just like we do with our secret code cards, I have the number 31. So I was feeling a little hungry and I was thinking, ah, let's play with food. So I went ahead and got out my pretzel sticks and marshmallows, but you could use anything for tens and ones. This is gonna be how many tens I have, and this is gonna be how many ones. So if I wanna show the number 31, I have 10, 20, 30, and that's where I get my decade number 30 from. And then I have one marshmallow, 31. Or you could say, I have three tens and one one. Or we also know that we could break apart this number and say, I have 30, that's 10, 20, 30, plus one, which makes 31 when I'm adding tens and ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, I have the number 31, but I wanna add 10 to it. 31 plus 10, I'll just take another 10 stick out here. And now I no longer have three tens, I have four tens. And four tens is the same as 40. So I take my secret code card, the decade number 40, just like that. And then my ones hasn't changed. So now I have 41. So 31 plus 10 equals 41. Uh, but what if I want to add another 10, 41 plus 10? So I could take another 10 out, put it down. Now I have five tens. So I could take away my 40. I need to find my 50 because five tens is the same as 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And take out my 50 and then put my one for my one marshmallow over the zero. So I have 51, five tens, my pretzels are my 10 sticks, and one one, my little marshmallow is my one. Uh, you can imagine why I use pretzel sticks. It's because they're longer, so they remind me of our 10 sticks that we used in class, where you could take like, remember our ones were the little cubes, and if we had 10 of those, it lined up to be a 10 stick. So I thought pretzel sticks would be good and marshmallows are just delicious to eat because I could always eat my food when I'm done playing with it. So um, I decided to use a marshmallow. You could also use chocolate chips for ones. You could use M&Ms. If you wanna be healthy, you could take carrot sticks and use those for tents. And for your ones, you could use things like green peas, um, little pieces of broccoli, florets, uh, delicious things like that. So you don't have to use pretzels and marshmallows. I just thought that would be yummy. And then it's fun to say plus 10 or minus 10. What is 51 minus 10? Well, I can show that. 51 minus 10 or 10 less is 41, like that. Or if I wanna get harder, I could start adding and subtracting ones. So 41 plus three, I could take my little threes. 41 plus three, all I'm doing is changing my ones. So I still have four tens, but now I had one one and I'm gonna add three. So now I have four ones. So the answer is 
44. Or I could say 44 take away one minus only one one, and I could eat that. Mmm, so yummy. And now instead of 44, I have 43. So there's a lot of fun things you can do with food. If you have a grown up who will play with you, then go ahead and make your secret code cards and find something that can be your tens and something that can be your ones and practice 10 more, 10 less, plus one, minus one, or even get more complicated. It's a fun way to play with your food. So have fun. I'm going to start eating my marshmallows now. Talk to you guys later.